Throughout the history of mankind, infectious disease was the major killer of human beings, and that contributed substantially to a shortened lifespan that was compounded by the presence of malnutrition, which predisposed people to infections. Then about a century ago, scientists began to develop vaccines and antibiotics, and that substantially reduced the risk of infections. Over time, uh, people began to live longer, and the result was the emergence of chronic diseases as opposed to infectious diseases. And these chronic diseases included obesity, diabetes, and dementias. Research now, but also research in the 21st century and beyond, needs to be answering scientific questions on many different levels. The faculty at Pennington Biomedical span a variety of expertise, and because of that, we are well versed and able to address questions on many different levels related to chronic disease. We have basic scientists who work at the bench or within the laboratory to study the underlying causes of obesity and diabetes. Then we also have physician scientists who are in the clinic testing the best drugs, diets, and other interventions specifically for people to help them prevent or reverse chronic diseases. And then we also have epidemiologists who are population-based researchers who are focused on improving the health of greater populations. Pennington Biomedical has a very rich landscape where we can conduct clinical studies and basic science studies in parallel. So this means that we can have two investigators at the centre interested in the same thing, but studying the disease from completely different standpoints. This brings a lot of depth to the centre as we attempt to answer questions related to chronic disease. Pennington Biomedical is looking at healthy ageing across the entire lifespan. The centre is emerging as a leader focused on preventing childhood obesity. We're even leading an international study in 12 countries about childhood obesity. At the same time, we have studies focused on healthy aging or living better, longer. A pressing question now is how early is the obesity epidemic really starting? We now understand that even before a baby is born, that we are setting the stage for the health of that individual for the rest of their life. So we're trying to develop interventions at Pennington Biomedical that can improve the health of people for the long term. The work that they do not only has affected me personally, but it's affected my family and my sphere of friends and co-workers. I'm not sure even Doc Pennington could imagine the profound impact his gift would have in addressing the greatest global health challenge of our time. We all benefit from the research taking place here at Pennington and we share the responsibility to continue to support Pennington Biomedical. It's not just that big beautiful building, it's a, it's a place that is investing in our future because it's making our citizens healthy. My passion is supporting the Pennington Biomedical Research Center. We should all feel very proud that here we have a preeminent research center filled with the best minds in science that is truly making a difference for all mankind. And to me, there's no better investment we can make.